Hey guys, welcome to Brazil Brazil with Renata Lopes and today I'm going to show everybody how to take the train to go into Santa Teresa. Many guys they ask me about hotels, hospitality, place to stay when they come to Rio and other place out from Zona Sul from Rio. So they ask a lot about Santa Teresa. And I go to show you guys a little bit about Santa Teresa. And now I am in Largo da Carioca here. That's the museum. Talk about a little bit about the history for the train. Come with me. Let's go check. Here, that's one, it's a provisory. Before the museum, about the history for Santa Teresa, the train, it's another side of Rio, but have accident in 2011. And then because the accident, they moved to here, next, next to the train station. Um, so then let's go inside and see. It. It's small, that's provisory, it's for short period. Let's go look. That's really nice, made with wood. I know the details. And look at the color. Nice, it's really nice. And here, that's two friends of mine, Ma and Kevin. Say hi to everybody. Here, when you guys come, everybody needs to sign the name put uh, the date, the first day, sign and just come in. It's not pay nothing, it's for free. And here it's a little bit about the history. That's how they start. Look this one. Oh my God. Long, long time ago, that's how they start to pass the peoples one side to the other side. This animal here, it's very special. Raça, I don't know how to call it in English, but they come especially from Sao Paulo. They bring Sao Paulo to here, Rio, for transportation. And then that's the second, and then they change, and then it's coming more and more, more than. And they complain about the color. People in the city, in Santa Teresa, they complain about the color, green, because it's many trees. When the, the train comes, people they, sometimes they don't see because it's so many trees and the, the train is green. So everybody sign, talk to the government and they win. You know, they, they go into process to change the color. Now it's look like that. And here it's other side. Here it's not Santa Teresa, here it's about Rio de Janeiro. And look, wow, the histories, the pictures, it's fantastic. Before it's uh, allowed to rental the train for weddings or for carnival. Nice. Oh my God, look at that. This one, I see many men, one woman here. I think the woman's maybe inside in the middle seat. 1963, the train in Rio de Janeiro, it stopped. And now it's only in Santa Teresa. Oh my God, look at the size of these tools. Yeah. <laughs> Years ago, that's what they use. Now they don't need them anymore. Woo! And before, when you are on a train, if you want to, the guy stop, you just push. Nice. This is the that's the horn. You know the horn for when you crash the horn. For people to get out for the front for the train. Really nice. Oh boy, obrigado. Hein? Now let's go. 
buy the ticket and let's see the price. Let's go! Bianca, where's the horn? The horn? Beep, beep. Yeah, because now it's changed, now it's more modern. So. It's cost 23 years, the tickets. The house is old, and the building is old, and it's old. It's a one city, history city, four year, years ago. Some people goes down and some just come out. restaurante in a corner there and I already smell the food from there let's go look now we back so because we back now he's turned the seats everybody needs to stand 
Vem cá, e depois pra gente usar pra pegar o outro desse ano. Pode embarcar à vontade. Ah, tá. É, esse aí faz aqui, ó. Faz aqui ele leva. Now we change us the side. Before we are in the front. Now we are in the back. From Santa Teresa. It's a lot of old houses here. And we walk in now because now we're going to the Mirante. I see many houses for sale. And also, I see it's many tourists. That's the Teatro Municipal. The Mirante. Here, where's the view? This side, where's the sugar loaf? This side, where's the gold? Copacabana, the other side. And then the other side, that's the Niterói. One more day and I'm back to Santa Teresa. I have to back here because the first video I'm not done. Come with me and explore a little bit more about the city. Here, it's one of the train station. Here you guys can walk in very easy to the Celeron steps. I can see many, many tourists. So already here we see two restaurants. It's many groceries little stores where they sell things here and inside they have a hostel come look they have hostel Cadê Santa Teresa here it's one bar I'm sure in the night they have events I've been here before in this restaurant, it's good. I like the food. And Santa Teresa, the streets, they are very tiny and small, straight, straight streets. I don't know how to explain. But this restaurant, it's really nice. I have live music now. Oi, linda. Tudo bem? Beijo. Beijo. Oi, meu amor. Como vai? Oh, it's a restaurant. Let's go. Come with me. 
Now I'm here in one restaurant in Santa Teresa. O nome do restaurante? Casa Nossa. I'm here with Viviane, and she's going to show us a little bit about this. It's a bar and restaurant, and at night time they have music, and it's really good. So here it's the ambiance where is the bar with music, people come. Vocês também têm música ao vivo? Temos música ao vivo todos os dias aqui, é o nosso ah. principal. Yeah, they have live band every day, every night. That's the first thing they have here in the place. It's live band. <laughs> Essa aqui é a área interior, reservamos mais para eventos e fazemos também como nosso bar. Here it's the area where the people sit, drink. Also, when people want to make a reservation for a party, privacy, they just make a reservation also. Okay? They have two ways to come off. Have one side, you know, is outside and this step with the stairs, it's inside. Wow, nice guys. Oh my God, look the kitchen. Wow, nice, I love it. Esse é o nosso salão interior para o almoço. Uh -huh. Nosso segundo andar destinado ao restaurante. Uh -huh. Here they have a lunch, dinner, a lot of things. area where the people most want to stay. It's a, like a kind of garden place. It's very fresh. Also, it's nice. She say in the weekends, they put here the drink called cachaça. It's one cachaça especially made in Santa Teresa place. They make separate places, you know, where it's able to smoke, where it's not smoke area. It's really nice. Okay, guys, I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to come to this place, visitor. Just come, enjoy the food. Good? Good. <laughs> Good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye. Now I see the Christ Redeemer. And look this side. It's a lot of nice houses. Rio de Janeiro. Popovado. Here it's safe to go to the Christ. Take it there. Now the other she starts a little bit afraid because she has no idea where we are. Watch the French. Oh yeah. here and I found one hotel in Santa Teresa place it's five-star hotel I'm here with Carolina and the name of the hotel is o nome do hotel M Gallery Santa Teresa oh she speak English yeah. very good <laughs> <laughs> so come with me I hope you guys when you guys come in Santa Teresa stay in this place it's very close to the town to the stairs around it's close to everything let's go see it Wow, it's really nice. I love it, the place. So this is our external area that goes directly to the pool area. Normally, at, during the weekends, we have like barbecue, sea, seafood barbecue. So it's a very nice activity that we have for our guests. And this is our pool area. So we have the pool right here in the front and the jacuzzi right at the left. Wow, jacuzzi, pool, really nice. I love it. Yes, 
both of them are warm because the weather here in Rio is kind of complicated. So normally during the day it is very hot and at the end of the day it can be raining, it happens a lot. So they are both warm for our guests can enjoy either way. Also up in the mountain in Santa Teresa, I hear a little bit, it's a little bit cold in the night. It is, yeah. Actually at the end of the day it can be like a little cold, but nothing, yes. nothing to but I mean, now for me it's perfect. It's fresh and the pool is warm. I can't believe I love it. <laughs> so, okay, let's go check a little bit of the view. Have a jacuzzi, have a bar. Oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's very good. View of Santa Rio. So uh, um, at night we can see the fair wheels and the clock, the central clock uh, lighting up. It's a very nice view. We normally have a beautiful sunset as well. It's very nice. Rio de Janeiro is lovely. Especially when we are inside the nature. Yes. Oh my god. That's what we call um, Refugio Brasileiro because it's a little bit far away to the center from the noisy, so it's kind of a vibe to relax. That's nice. So let's go check now the hotel inside. So actually this door is our original door that we managed to stay with the door when we reformed the hotel. So this was the entrance level because it's the street level. Uh -huh. So we managed to, to keep the door. It's very nice. Yes, that's historic. Yes. <laughs> nice. Here, yes, that's the reception room I like it it's a little bit rustic I don't know in English maybe it's the same yeah. rustic no caso in inglês é rustic rustic <coughs> really nice I love it also fresh and the oh because the Easter so cute yeah, and around the other things, it's only the rooms, you know, for this place, like the bedrooms. Yeah, we have 43 rooms and they are um, different categories. So we have the first one that is superior room and goes to the royal one. We won't only have one room at this category, it's very nice. Thank you, thank you very much. I hope you guys like, I hope you guys enjoy. This is bye. Take care. Like, subscribe, leave comments, and follow me on Instagram.